Hey there guys, this is Darwin with another review and this is Great Divides Hibernation Ale. Uh, this is actually last year's vintage. This is an old ale. It's a um, traditional uh, British uh, beer with um, sort of just a malt driven kind of a robust kind of beer. Uh, you might be reminded from it from like maybe a scotch ale or a barley wine, that kind of uh, style. Um, this beer comes in 8.7% ABV. Let's take this beer. So this beer comes in a muddy, muddy color, um, you know, dark copper, super, like, completely opaque. Uh, let's get the aroma on this. Cheers. Um, this beer is generally kind of leafy. Uh, it might be, I, I don't remember from last year, but it, it smells slightly oxidized. It's got this like cardboard kind of flavor almost. Um, uh, wet leaves. A lot of sweetness, though. a lot of toffee, a lot of caramelized sugar. Cheers. Mm. Yeah. In the front, you're going to notice that this beer, if, if it's um, older vintage, it's going to be slightly leafy. Um, sort of these wet leaves, uh, a bit mulchy, a bit bark, kind of like herbal, woody, like, like biting into like wet wood or something like that. Um, that kind of flavor. Um, nice kind of sweetness though, generally throughout. Toffee, um, deep, rich kind of caramel flavors. Really drinkable, like a medium mouthfeel. Um, just like slides down very nicely. At 8.7% ABV, get a bit of warming. Um, not much sense of the alcohol. Though what I really do like about this beer, it has a nice kind of kick in the mid palate. Uh, reminds me of a porter or sort of a stout. Nice kind of robust kind of quality of um, coffee or chocolate bitterness. Uh, really nice. It's actually quite different from other old bales I've had. Um, those are more driven from the sweetness and that kind of hop character. This has almost that kind of porter and style quality I was talking about. I really enjoy this, the fact that this beer has nice kind of um, uh, transitions of flavor. Uh, again, that kind of leafy, woody kind of flavor in the front. A lot of sweetness in the middle. And then that bitterness on the back of that mm, really tastes like stout and porter to me dries out quite nicely. Uh, my issue with a lot of American barley wines is that they stick on the palate of either sweetness or uh, this kind of mulchy wood kind of flavor. This kind of dries it out quite nicely. It just flies off the palate really nicely. Um, this beer to me is um, you know, an underrated beer. I really do enjoy it. Um, I'm going to give this beer a... I really like this beer. Fresh, I might give it a higher score. Right now, for this state of what it is, a year old, I'm going to give this beer a 93. Um, you know, hopefully I'll review this again in the, when the new batch comes and, um, really nice stuff. So let me know what you guys think about this beer or actually I was thinking about this. I was talking uh, with a friend about, um, the idea that I really like variety. Uh, when I go to a store, I generally buy a, a, a mix and max, a mix and match six pack. And, um, you know, what do you guys generally do? Do you guys generally buy, you know, six packs and sort of stick to those, um, you know, for me, I like a good variety, but there's some beers that I actually do try to buy a six pack of because I do like it, have, having it in the fridge. Um, Goose Island Sophie is one of them. This beer is one of them. Really great stuff. And uh, so, yeah, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Until next time, guys, cheers later.